I'm working. My father works in a bank. I'm working very hard right now. Aquí está la clave. Right now. Si nos dice right now o in this moment, es present continuous, sí o sí. Where are you going? I'm using are, so I have to use ing. I always go. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy utilizando always. Y dijo, usually, sometimes, adverbios de frecuencia, tengo que usar simple present. I mean, hay una opción para utilizar el adverbio de frecuencia always con ing para describir hábitos, pero eso todavía no estamos haciendo. Entonces, ¿ven un adverbio de frecuencia? Simple present. Let's have lunch tomorrow. I usually have lunch at one. Notice? Frequency adverb. So I use the simple present. I'm sorry. Are you having lunch? ¿Estás almorzando? I'll call you back later. Do or make. Shh. I'm doing. En la parte de arriba está la respuesta. I'm doing my homework. You're making too much noise. Here. In my house, my mom usually, notice, usually, makes dinner. And my dad usually does the dishes. No quiere decir que haga los platos, sino lava los platos, no toda la vajilla. So, then you are going to take a picture. ¿De qué van a tomar la foto? Of this. All this. I want this picture from this part. I'm not checking this. No voy a revisar eso porque ya hemos visto las respuestas. Okay. So you send a picture of this part of the book. Send it to the WhatsApp group. Now we go to the next page, 77. Something, nothing. So the uses. Some we use for affirmative sentences. Any we use for negative sentences or interrogative sentences. So, si dice something, entonces es para una oración afirmativa. Si es que digo anything, es una oración negativa o interrogativa. Nothing. Nothing es una oración afirmativa, pero nos da la idea de negativo. Por ejemplo, digo, I don't, negative, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Ahora en afirmativo, I have nothing. Yo tengo nada. Okay. Negative. 